just take turns leaning in. Or we could just lean in together. <laughs> it's going right now. Are you? Oh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Well, it's, it'll be part of the charm of the video. How's that? Okay. We'll have part of the charm. Well, welcome one and all. This is the professor, and you are watching Movie Community College, and I am joined by the Warrior Queen. I told you she was very fair. Look at that. White skin. Crazy. Milky white skin. Anywho, uh, what we're here for today, you want to say hello, Warrior Queen? Hello, Warrior Queen. Uh, <laughs> you're supposed to say hello to them. Not I know. Hello to everyone. Um, we're going to do a movie review on the movie Piku. Now, this is your first Bollywood film. Is that correct? It is, and I'm not nearly as animated as you are. I'm more straight-laced, so um, I hope that doesn't um, ruin your review. What you'll notice, my friends, is I am on my best behavior because my wife is sitting right next to me. And I'm not even poking you or anything. Not yet. The video is very, very sh young-ish. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Go ahead. So what did you think about the movie? Um, I thought it was a really good story. Um, I thought that it would be a little more, um, I don't know, dramatic it seemed more comedic i guess than than what i thought it would be it was a comedy oh okay well then i guess that's appropriate that yes. it was more comedic um it was my first bollywood film i was a little thrown off by how they went back and forth between english and hindi like very easily mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like there was one whole scene where it was in english and one whole scene where it was in hindi it was almost like literally they're in the same conversation and one sentence is in English and one is in Hindi. So that kind of took me aback because that's not something that you see. Ooh, thank you. That's not something you see in American films. It's either all in English or if you're watching something that's, um, you know, where there's a Spanish speaker, there's subtitles on the screen just while they're speaking Spanish. Um, but the rest of the movie is in English, so it was a little different than what I was used to as far as that goes. But um, I thought the story was interesting, and I think my dad would love it. Did you see any uh, similarities between your family and the film? Um, what I saw is my dad. And not my dad now, per se, because I don't think that he's um, a hypochondriac. But... I, my yet. dad, yet, yet yes, yet, because he's not 70. Um, but as you know, my dad enjoys jokes that <laughs> employ toilet humor. Yes, yes. Um, so the thought of him being obsessed with his bowel movements, that is not... Not far off. That's not far off. My dad is, you know, pretty obsessed with telling anybody who will listen about farts and um, poop. So... Yeah, I I agree, and I kind of felt like uh, Efren Khan. I think his name is Irfan. Okay, we'll let we'll let our friends decide who's yes, got this right. Yes, it's I R R F A N. Okay, so it I'm, has to be. This is warning number Irfin. one. This is Irfin. warning number one. You knock that off. I don't want to have to spank you, but I will. You will not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. Um, when he's when he's like well, with just all the conversation about ball movements, motion as they called it. Yes. That he's like, well, is this what we talk about? Like, is this all you people talk about? And they're like, yeah, pretty much. That was the other thing that was a little different. Um, the terminology, because over here, right, you're you either you're going to the bathroom or a ball you're movement. having a bowel movement. Right. We don't call it passing motion. Yeah, so, right. So that was a little bit different, just kind of getting used to some of the terminology. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I don't I don't know that there was anything other than that that was remarkably similar to my family. Um, my dad and I have a, a really good relationship, so I, I don't think that we would be interacting that way with one another necessarily. You, you know what? I think you saw it. Well, did you watch My Name is Khan with yes, me? Okay, yes. so this is your second Bollywood film. Oh, you're film. right. You're okay. right. It is. Which yeah. Khan did you like better? Um, hmm. That's kind of hard to say because the movies were really, really different from SRK one another. SRK played a, he played a good... Uh, Autist... Yeah. Well... Asperger's. He had Man, Asperger's. Retard, I guess. No, no, don't say that. Can he we, had Asperger's. We, he didn't go full retard. No, he had Asperger's. But he did. A, it was a strong performance. It was a good performance, but obviously what bothered me about the movie is that um, it was 
completely a misrepresentation of America post 9-11. Um, they made it look like Muslims are under attack in America mm. and Muslims are the good guys in America. And that's not the case. Mm. Um, so that I think was it was a propaganda film. The first half of it was pretty good. Yes. And then it was like two films. Yes. And then the second half became so much, you know, pro Islam propaganda, uh, propaganda that it, it was totally um, really irritating to me. The second half of it. Somebody told me that this uh, this film came to be because um, and I don't know how true it is that Khan was visiting America and he got a full body cavity search because his last name's Khan, which. And, you know, I, I don't know I guess if that, that happened, would, Yeah, that's obviously. true. I can see his point. But anyway. Well, well, hold on. I don't we, know if that happened. We're supposed to be doing a review for Piku. We're turning this into a completely different. I have to finish my thought. I don't know if that happened. Um, but the fact is, is that run-of-the-mill Americans get searched every day by TSA. And their name is not Khan. And so that happens to us all the time. Yes. TSA sucks. Yes. So, um, Piku, what was your favorite, your favorite moment of the film? Um, I guess when they started on their trip to uh, Calcutta, which they say Kolkata, we say Calcutta over here, um, I guess that was probably my favorite part of the film was um, where Irfan Khan was actually seeing that she's a normal woman and she's not a monster, she's not a beast, she's just under a lot of strain and, and pressure and you know stress because of her dad and so you can see that he's starting to see she's just Mm -hmm. a human being and he's starting to kind of empathize with her Um, and she on the flip side is starting to let her guard down and kind of um, open up the hard shell exterior that she has and um, kind of let him in and, and see who she is so I really liked that and then at the very end of the film, after her dad has passed away, and she's kind of standing in the, the driveway there with Irfan Khan, mm-hmm. and she's on the, uh, the phone complaining because they've spelled her name wrong, you know, uh, at the, the end of the driveway where mm-hmm. they've got the name mm-hmm. of, the, of her family. And uh, they're kind of playing uh, badminton, and mm-hmm. then the old maid comes back mm-hmm. because she had said that she wanted to come back. So I, th- I think... Uh Irfan Khan is my favorite Khan. I'm glad you said his name. Out of whatever, uh, out of all the Khans, he's my favorite Khan so far. Um, matter of fact, I'm changing my name to Gore Khan no. so I can so I can go to the Bollywood films no. and be a bad guy because I'd be a very good bad guy. Your name's Jeremy. Um, I think my favorite part of the film is when the dad died. Um, <laughs> Please clarify because that sounds, <laughs> that terrible. sounds terrible. That sounds he's terrible. dead. No, I'm joking. I'm just I just said that just to shock you. Were you shocked by that? Not really. Mm, after really after being with you for 26 years, you there's little, little that you shocked. say that shocks shocked. me. A little shocked. I could tell. I could tell you were a little shocked. No, more um, appalled. I you know, I just I really liked Khan's performance on it. I thought it was really strong. This is uh, my second Khan film that I've seen of him and and he just He's a he's a really good actor, I think, and 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 there's a reason why I think he crosses over so much into American film, you know. I um, wait, is this the guy that was in the Amazing Spider-Man? It is, okay. yes. And he he was um, he, he was in a Life of Pi, Slumdog Millionaire, oh, okay. which I've I I haven't seen. Either I started of those. watching Life of Pi, but I fell asleep on it. I don't I don't. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, I don't I remember. Seen either of those. I, I, your brother said it was amazing. He played a really really nasty guy in the amazing spider-man yeah i don't remember i have to go back and watch it i don't yes. I, I remember him in it but i don't remember his he part was, at all i was, was pretty crooked i was so horrified at how terrible the spider-man film was really that I, yeah you know but why did you think because it, it just sucked it just spider-man sucks oh. man i'm just so tired well, i mean I i'm looking the for the new Maguire ones. ones better but yeah so let me let me ask you this while we have this here while we got this, this has going. Been going on a long time <laughs> yes, so it's it a long video it's a long video um what do you, what do you think about my interest in Bollywood? I mean, this is this is kind of, you know. You well, s- okay. I guess um, a big positive that has come out of this is that 
you have seen a variety of movies that have a musical quality to them Mm -hmm. and you are starting to appreciate musicals so Mm -hmm. that now you said you would watch the sound of music with me with Mm -hmm. new eyes because Mm -hmm. that is one of my favorite movies Mm -hmm. and um, you said you would watch it with new eyes and then you actually suggested going and seeing um opera oh, oh, oh hey hey that's on the down low yo no. what do you do with you people you just said that no. oh sh- no, no, no. i'm not taking it back no 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 whoa, whoa. so so easy, that's something easy easy there. that's something really mm-hmm. good that has come out of it i guess the lone bad thing is that you're now um, trying to portray yourself as a Bollywood character. I am because the I house. am. I am. I and look and at me. Not, look, no. I'm I'm white. I'm of British descent, and I'm going to take all the natural resources. Maybe no. maybe I'll flip sides and try to get Pakistan in control of Kashmir. No. Oh, the white devil. Oh, Gorkhan. You should never say that. That's horrible. The white devil? No, that you're going to give Kashmir to the Pakistanis. And and I'm all for India holding that. Yes, I agree. Yes, yes. Well, hey, I think that's uh, this is great that you came over and did this with me. But now it's time for you to go in the kitchen like a good woman and make us some food. (laughs) Yeah. Who's with me, fellas? Yeah! You know the problem with making that joke? Huh? Because I really do make the food in the you house. You do, you do. Yours could end up not tasting <laughs> so well, if you know what I'm saying. All right. So. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. I love you, Shorty. I love you too, Smoochie. Okay. I'm going to take that chair back. That's my comfy chair. That's my professor chair. The high back. I gave it to you since you were the guest of honor. Well, this has been my very, very long review of the movie Piku. I loved the film. Um, I thought Efren Khan was outstanding. I thought um, the actor, the dad who played the actor, was outstanding. I understand that he is like the um, Robert De Niro of Bollywood films. And, and he, he was outstanding. I, uh, his daughter, Piku, was outstanding. It was a great, great film. I really, truly enjoyed it, and I'm going to give this a grade of... Hmm, I'm going to give this a grade of an A. It was an A-quality film. It is a film that I would show with pride to my friends, and um, and I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you haven't, would you please subscribe to the channel? That way you can stay up to date on all of our shenanigans and videos. And check out my website, remnantxradio.com. Again, that's remnantxradio.com. Again, that's remnantxradio.com. And I will catch you guys later. Peace and free cashmere.